Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt Don't Play. Today, we're on Stone Dolly Farm by Lancy Boy. Probably my second favorite map in FS19 behind Lone Oak Farms. So, naturally, I thought I'd redo it. So I purchased Field 2 for my farm, and with no disrespect to Lancy Boy, I had to start with a clean slate. So I'm heading over to the chickens. I'm gonna get rid of them. Bye bye, chickens! Now I'm going to sell off all the equipment. I thought about keeping it, but I decided I would take the money instead, use it towards the farm. If I do play this farm, I'm probably going to make this a Kavota farm. Now with the new DLC out. I'm pretty excited about that. So leave a comment below if you think I should play this as a series using Kubota equipment. I think this would be a great map for Kubota to be featured on. I think the fields are the right size to show off the equipment. Maybe even make this a sheep farm and put that hay equipment to work as well. Let me know down below what you think. Okay, just a few little more cleanup items here before we start building. I like the pathway lights that the Lancy boy added, but they just didn't fit with my build so I had to get rid of them. Maybe I can find another use for them later on. Ah, almost forgot about the water tank. Now it's time to start building. Yes, I did add some money back into the account. This is a build video, and I want to make it easier for myself to build what I wanted. If I do end up playing this as a series, I always adjust the bank account to something closer to what you would see if you started the game level. So here's the house. I liked where Lancy Boy had the house originally, and I was going to use a similar location but I decided I like that cross lane for something else, so I moved the house over here. My original plan for this build was to build something very similar to my home farm that my family owns, and I'm still working to try to build that in game. And I thought this might be the perfect map for it, and after several attempts, I couldn't get anything close enough that I felt resembled my uh, home farm. But trust me, someday soon you all will see a farm that resembles my home in real life. Here we go, finishing up some landscaping after removing some buildings and getting it prepared for the new ones. I'm going to start with the silo. So I'm going to pick this one. I've used this one before. But uh, it's a small multi-fruit, which I like. I think it'll fit this area perfect. Now I'm going to go to a shop. I like this one. It's one I hadn't seen before. I don't think I've ever used this one. So I thought about putting it here next to the road, but it just felt too close. So I moved it over here, a little farther off the road, back out of the way. This is a really cool shop. I'll show you the inside of it later. For the most part, I will be using Stone Valley buildings that you get with the map going to use this small single door shed right here probably use it for implements and then I've got this red tin building I kind of like the uh, mix match look of this farm right now last shed I'm gonna place is this open-ended building you know for my headers and uh, some more implements if I need some room clean up a little bit just kind of getting some of the weeds and bushes that are in the yard make it look like uh, someone lives here and takes care of the area expanding the yard just a bit just to make it a little more square I've had a few comments lately in some past videos saying my farms maybe are a little too perfect and uh, I do kind of agree I'm trying to make them a little more down and dirty I'm trying to give them some different sort of character and I'm working on it I'm, and I'm starting with this one trying to make it a little feel a little more lived in used so so bear with me if, if you're one of those that have made those comments lately I'm trying sometimes my OCD takes over a little bit and I have a hard time putting some rough edges on it and I'm trying to do that with this farm just to see how it works so let me know in the comments how you feel do you like the clean cut version of my builds? 
or are you wanting something a little more uh, rough and tumble or maybe even a mixture of both that works too to add some storage containers last build I went with an all-in-one setup after playing the game I, I didn't like it I didn't like being able to fill it up with one product and then not being able to put anything else in I think it should be separate fill types for each and a capacity for each so to solve that on this build I'm just using individual storage bins and then I'll be able to put whatever I want into that one and still have room for other fill types. Just after I recorded this build, something awesome happened. I got to 1,000 subscribers. I can't tell you how thankful I am for that. It is not lost on me how cool this is. I started out with just a build video that I thought would go nowhere. And somewhere along the way, you guys picked it up, really liked it started sharing it, commenting on it. And now that video alone has over 300,000 views. So cool. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, building farms, as long as you guys keep watching. So again, thank you all. Everyone go out and tell a friend and let's add a thousand more. So this is neat on the back side of this house. There's a basketball goal. So I decided to make a little uh, court to go along with it. I remember growing up having a spot in the backyard very similar to this. So it made me happy to be able to recreate that a little bit. So I wish there was a way to keep some of these uh, spots on the gravel or be able to replace them with something in your landscaping tools, but there just isn't. I, I really tried my best to keep them, but it just didn't look right to me having the brand new gravel next to the older gravel. So I cleaned it up a bit and I will come back later and I'll see if I can make it uh, look a little more lived in. Went ahead and added two more storage bins just to make sure everything's covered and have plenty of space for storage. Another way I'm trying to take this build to the next level is I'm going to add some decorations that I haven't used before. Again, it's all about giving this farm some character. So on this build, I'm going to go with an area that uh, every farmer has. It's the old equipment in the back. The stuff the time has forgotten, but uh, the original owner hasn't. And since this is called Stone Valley, I thought it'd be kind of neat to add some actual stones. I have this in a pack and I've never used them before. And I thought, what a perfect place than, uh, than Stone Valley. So I threw a couple around the farmyard just to give it uh, that Stone Valley look. Adding some more decorations. Got a little careless here and tried to place a barrel on top of a truck and screwed up the landscaping so just wanted to show you how easy it is to get it back you just delete it use your slope tool find the flat surface just go back over it it'll be like it never happened anyway that gave me a reason to redo the truck and park it behind the building is like if it just came off the field after the fall and was never used again Going back to my attempt to try to make this more used looking farm, 
adding some stains to the gravel. Some cracked concrete here and there. Really trying to get that used. Been driven on for 20 plus years. Look. Love a fenced in yard. It's a staple of most of my builds. I just like making that separation between the farmyard and your backyard. So I always have to put a fence. Now to replant some grass back in the yard. Get that yard growing for the kids to play in and have a good time, let the dogs run around. So it's just that added extra attention to detail that I like putting in my farm builds. If you're still watching, that must mean you like the video. So please head down and hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. It's such a simple and easy gesture on your part, but it's huge for my channel and other channels like mine. So let me and all your other favorite YouTube creators know by hitting that like button. And while you're in the neighborhood, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. So you know when my new videos come out. Now here we go, hiding the junk pile. Like the trees have grown up around it, like it's been there quite a while. But everyone can hear their dad saying, I'm gonna get that stuff running someday soon. You just watch. All it needs is some fresh gas and a new battery and that thing will start right up. Just give me a day and I bet I could use it this year. Sound familiar to anyone else? No? Just me? Okay, now for the walk around of the farm. Just kind of showing you the layout, ground level, what the buildings look like together, how they operate. Here's this really cool shop building that I got. I don't think it has a working mechanics trigger in it. I'll have to double check. I've got the icons turned off right now, I believe. So, going back and adding the gravel walkway that I forgot. But uh, once I go back in here, We'll go through this door and it's a nice little shop. Every door works, all the lights work. Really happy with this shop choice. I think it adds something to this farm. If I do end up playing this, I may role play uh, some sort of business out of that shop. Now for my uh, quick flyover, just to give you a bird's eye view of it. How all the paths work together. I know we've kind of seen some of this in some of the during the build, but this is kind of the final version of it. I just want to give everyone a layout how everything works together, so that way they, if they want to build it themselves or if you build something similar, might give them some ideas. During my flyover, I noticed I needed a little path back here that gets back to this field. I know Lancy Boy had one originally, and I like the idea, so I put my own in. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this farm build. I enjoyed making this one by getting out of my comfort zone and not trying to make everything so perfect. If you haven't already, Please consider subscribing to my channel 
hit that like button, leave a comment on this video and all my videos. And even better, share it with a friend. Until next time, I'm Matt Don't Play.